Hey guys, we're back with Western Electric, do-it-yourself, Kobe and Taylor, we got Kima today, uh, the master electricians. Okay, what I wanted to uh, focus on today is makeup of our three ways to show those and dead ends. Also, I want to show, I forgot, is the smoke detectors where you need these um, when you wire your own home guys okay so smoke detectors you have to have one in every bedroom and they like it within three feet of the door let's go show you that so here's our door way into a bedroom kind of hard to tell with all the wood but there's the header of it okay so you walk in and there's the smoke detector within three feet of the door when you walk in okay and then you want to you have to run three wire you want to run 14 3 from smoke detector to smoke detector once you get them all installed where I show you and tell you you need to go and then from there you need to power them up which when I say power them up I'm meaning you need to come off of I just come off of one of the outlets in the in one of the bedrooms so say here's an outlet in this bedroom there's the closet so here's an outlet so what I would do is this last outlet there's only one wire in it I would go up and then go and power up the smoke detectors you have to power them don't forget to power the smoke detectors because they do need power off to run and then the 14.3 the third wire runs the signal on around to all the other smoke detectors that way if one goes off it'll send it on the red wire and have all of them go off on the whole house okay so the next spot you need a smoke detector is any hallway that leads to a bedroom. I'm going to speak really clearly. So uh, this is a little hallway leading to this bedroom. Actually it leads to two bedrooms. So you can see that is a tiny hallway. Uh, it's got a little linen closet right there the bedroom here if you kept going you'd go into the bathroom and then the second bedroom so since there's a little hallway before that we have to have another smoke detector okay and you want to use single gang boxes that's the cheapest you can use a circle one like that for the light but uh, we just use single gangs because we get a lot of them and they fit those as well but they will fit on the circle box if that's all you have don't sweat that okay the next place you need a smoke detector is if an elevation changes over three feet so we do have that here so you can see the ceiling here I'm gonna get my tape measure out and show you it's hard to tell with all the wood guys I apologize but if you if you look right here When you come out, this is all a ceiling height right here in this hallway. And then you come out of the hall right here, and then it goes way up to the next uh, level. On up to the stairs, there's a bonus room up there. So anyway, since that's over three feet from that little hallway on up to the top, you have to have another smoke detector, which I'm going to show you we got. And guys, where you need to put this one is up by the peak. See that right there is the peak. Okay, then you got to come six inches down like we did and put your smoke detector there. If you don't put it there, the inspector will make you change it and put it up closer to that uh, peak. You can't put it right up at the peak because the smoke rolls. I can show you what they showed me on that. So we just go six inches down 
and set our box and that's our other smoke detector another location where it needs to be and then you can see the wire goes on out to the next one you just go from smoke to smoke to smoky okay I'll draw on the on the wall here so here's a peak they say that the smoke will actually come up and roll over and start coming back down that way when the smoke rises it comes up but they claim that it won't go all the way to the peak first and then down so they call this little spot here that the peak is at they call that the dead zone right here because they say the smoke don't go right they say it don't get up into this peak they say it rolls over like that so that's why you can't put your smoke detector here they want it on down before before the smoke uh, rolls over okay moving on to where we need the other smoke detector three foot elevation change hallway leading to a bedroom every bedroom within three feet of the door and oh when they consider a bedroom guys is when there's a closet if you don't have a closet in that room it then does not say become a bedroom it can be a den or and a study or something like that so it's considered a bedroom when you have the closet and you know what if you're questioning it that you might put a closet in it one day then I would just put a smoke in it and then you're covered um, no questions covered you're more safe uh, everything anyway okay guys so now we come over here across the living room and the masters on the other side of the house and we now have another hallway so again unfortunately every hallway now we've got our smoke detector there in this hallway leading to this master bedroom and then we come on into the master now this one's interesting because it's got this cool uh, cove ceiling where it jumps up and again you will have to put the smoke detector at the highest elevation so we have it up there three feet from the door oh within three feet there and then up in the little cove thing that they framed around so you can't put it right here close to the door because it's the lowest point because that little cove comes and jogs up a foot and you always want it at the highest elevation okay now on the smoke detectors you also have to have a carbon monoxide and smoke combo I call them I call them combos because it's you want to do both might as well do the smoke detector and the carbon combos they're a little more expensive and you have to have one of them on every level so we put one on every level I usually put the carbon I'll put the one in that one I'll put it in the high one more by the kitchen like I don't put the carbon in the bedrooms or the hallway I put them out in more of the common area I think you could put them in the bedroom but anyway I I put them out in the common area and then the third level go on up the stairs then oh here we go another hallway leading to this bonus room up here above the garage another smoke detector in the hallway okay and then we come on in and then now we enter the bonus room above the garage within three feet of our door there's our smoke detector so in this case up on this third floor I would put the carbon out here in the hallway more common area and this is the bonus room that they did up above the garage oh we generally wouldn't need a smoke detector in here but what I mentioned earlier they put a closet in it 
So now this baby is compared to a bedroom because of the closet. So now we got another bedroom. Okay. Okay. Oh, the next spot for smokes and carbon monoxides is the basement. If you are not finishing your basement right away, you're going to do a smoke detector down there and in that case you can just put it anywhere you want really just they just want one in the basement and you have to have a carbon on every level so this particular home that we're doing they finished the basement on this one so we just came down bottom of the stairs in a little bit and we put our last smoke detector and then that three wire will just end at the last one because you just go from smoke detector to smoke detector and then yeah you just end at the last one with your 14 three wire and you can power this up guys anywhere you want in the circuit or in the yeah of the loop of smoke detector to smoke detector to smoke detector you can put the you can take the power into it any smoke detector you want it don't have to be the first one it don't have to be the last one you can put it in the middle anywhere you want as long as you get that power to them also if you wanted and it works out for you you can also instead of going from smoke detector to smoke detector you can branch off and go off to another one which would be called like tee off you could tee off of it so you would have three wires in the smoke detector but what we try to do is we try to go from smoke detector to smoke detector I think it works easier for us like that but what you can do is so say you've got three smoke detectors okay you're gonna want to run a 14-3 to this one 14-3 to this one And say you have another smoke detector that you want to hit but you don't want to come off of this last one and go to it you can go ahead and come off of the middle one and go to it with your 14-3 so this one would have three 14-3s into it which is fine totally fine as well if that's how you would rather run it and save wire or easier for you and then in this case, again, as long as you just run your power to any one of them, make sure. Some guys always, not always, but a lot of times I hear stories of guys that have forgot to run the power to the smoke detectors. So, okay guys, that's the video on smoke detectors and where to put them, locations and boxes to use and any other questions just comment and please uh, describe to our channel tell your friends if they're trying to wire their own home or helping a friend and if you want to see something else that you're not sure of let us know in the comment section as well and we will answer your questions on anything into how to wire your home thanks See ya.